Hello folks, welcome back. Beautiful sunny Saturday morning here in Southern Ohio. We're gonna reach uh, pretty close to upper 60s, pushing 70 today. Bees are extremely active. Uh, we've been going through quite a bit of nectar flow, but it's really starting to ramp up now. Uh, the honey locusts and black locusts is, are starting to bloom just west of us. And the brambles are starting to just crack open a little bit. So between the two, we should have a really good flow over the next two to three weeks. So today, I'm going to do the one-year review of the Paradise Honey Bee Box. The polystyrene box I did a video on a little over a year ago. So I'm going to kind of go through the good points and bad points that I have found so far with it. So stick around and we'll pop it open and take a quick look. The Paradise Honey Bee Box is made out of a high density polystyrene. It's food grade, so it's really safe for the bees. Uh, make sure you put two or three good heavy coats of an exterior grade latex on it. I even suggest putting a coat on the inside. Uh, bees will chew on polystyrene, especially once it gets a couple years on it. Um, I haven't had any problems with them chewing for the most part on them. The only thing I've ever seen chew on them is some of the really tiny little ants on one of my polystyrene boxes that kind of burrowed in between the joints here and down into one of the boxes. Uh, otherwise, I don't have a problem really with the bees. I do suggest keeping these up off the ground. I've got mine off the ground by about 18 or 20 inches. Uh, that way animals won't chew into them. So animals can go through these a lot quicker than a can of wooden box. Uh, I've had them uh, elevated for over a year, not had any problems whatsoever. So they have a R value of about seven. So that's real similar to the average tree cavity that the bee's natural home is. Uh, what I found, found was I overwinter with a single deep and a medium. And with that setup, I do that both with my wooden hives and my polystyrene hives. The polystyrene hives used less honey over winter this past winter, so that's a good point. I think they're able to maintain the environment a little better. Along the same lines, last summer the polystyrene hives did not beard at all. Versus my wooden hives, you got bees like in the end of July, 1st of August, they're just pouring out the front. It doesn't matter how you vent them, how many boxes you stack up, late afternoon you've got three or four pounds of bees hanging out the front. I didn't have that with the polystyrene hives. So they're able to maintain their environment a lot better in my opinion. So that's so far, I've only used these for a little over a year. That's my experience so far. Uh, they are fully compatible with Langstroth additional parts such as boxes, queen excluders, frames. You even know that these interlock they have a raised lip and then a recess on the above box. Even though they interlock, it's a perfect match for a wooden box to slide on. Now the wooden boxes will not interlock on when you're putting them on top of the polystyrene, but they line up perfectly, so it gives you an option. And I'll show you that on one of my hives over here. I ran out of polystyrene boxes, so I added a wooden super there a couple weeks ago. Worked fine. I'm using a standard Langstroth queen excluder over my brood chamber. Works perfect. You don't have to buy a specialized queen excluder. So now I prefer to use a six mil piece of plastic, kind of like an inner cover. Uh, it makes the taking the lid off a whole lot easier because they will glue these together. I don't really have a problem summer or winter with excessive moisture. Plastic does get waxed down a little bit, but as you can see, it comes right off. 
It's a whole lot easier to pull that off than it is the, uh, the inner cover. The hard plastic inserts is perfect for putting your hive tool in between the boxes, snapping them apart. Uh, otherwise, you'd be prying against polystyrene. I don't think that would work very good. With the addition of the plastic rails and the inserts, uh, it just adds a level of durability to these hives. So, this is actually one that I set up this spring. And I'm already into my second honey super. I haven't been in this one here lately. We've had a lot of rainy weather. The, the bees have done extremely well this spring. Yeah, these were drawn but empty combs. That one's completely full also. It's not capped yet. The next one over is capped. Uh, they're doing really well and I can see down into the next box. The next box had a lot of new comb. It's all fully pull, pulled out wax, drawn wax also. So they seem to do really good. I did have one problem with a couple supers last year. The distance from the front to the back rails was too tight. Had two boxes that way. I talked to another individual had the exact same problem. I did not have that problem with any of my deeps, only my honey supers. My solution was not to modify my frames because the frames after extraction probably won't come back to the exact same box. What I did was I took a Dremel tool with a drum sander and went back and forth to thin the plastic out which then increased the distance from end to end. Worked perfect, haven't had any problems since. I can swap frames from, from one hive to the next without an issue. So that's really the only uh, major problem that, that I ran into. It was an easy fix. Now, one of the things I did notice is from the top of the frame to the top of these boxes, there's basically no space. Depending on your frames, this one sits down just a little bit. This one's almost flush. This one is flush. Basically, there's no B space at the top. Uh, unlike a Langstroth has got typically from the frame to the top of the box about 3 eighths of an inch. They typically have three-eighths of an inch top, three-eighths of an inch bottom. So they're kind of a neutral B space on them. Uh, these have a bottom B space, which I think uh, from what I'm reading is pretty common with European made boxes. These are made in Finland. So, you know, it's, it's kind of an oddity. Uh, you get used to things like that. It doesn't create a problem. It's just different than the wooden boxes we're used to. So as you can see, these are really nice carniolan, really nice calm carniolan bees. Uh, I'll be adding another box to these today. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a wooden box and not another polystyrene until I get another batch of these in. The sole importers of these is Blue Sky in Northern Ohio. Blue Sky uh, has got some really interesting items out of Europe. Uh, I bought these with my own money. I am not sponsored by Blue Sky. I did not get anything from them, uh, but I really like some of their products and this one is a favorite of mine. I do really like these polystyrene boxes. They will not rot. They should last years. I've got wooden boxes less than 10 years old that I'm already doing major repairs to. So as long as you're not throwing these things around, they should outlast a wooden box by a significant amount. They do run about 25% more than wooden boxes, uh, but with the longevity and the lighter weight, uh, I think it's a good value. Um, so overall, I give this one a thumbs up. I think uh, these are a really good idea, especially for the hobby beekeeper. Uh, for the professionals, they're probably cost prohibitive. But for the hobbyist, I think it's a great idea. I think it does have some benefits to it. So uh, yeah, definitely a thumbs up on these Paradise Honey Bee Boxes. Another thing I want to point out, inner cover's got a big recess here. That allows for an area to add, say, fondant or a baggy feeder or something like that in the wintertime. Just gives you a, a nice little uh, extra area to add food for the wintertime. So, yeah, that recess is actually pretty nice, pretty nice addition. They, get, they come with the uh, corrugated plastic insert. 
Um, I don't use that at all, uh, especially if you're going to use like the plastic or the, the poly inner cover. Not needed. Nice little additional inserts here. I run straps across the top of mine so you can kind of strap them down to the pallet and you're not pulling against the polystyrene. It goes right against the po uh, plastic inserts. So another nice little feature. Here's an example of adding a, an additional wooden box. Uh, here's my queen excluder over my brood box. I had to use a wooden box because I was out of additional polystyrene. Uh, standard, medium, super, or a deep, shallow, doesn't matter. Langstroth will drop right on. The internal dimensions are the same. So they line up perfectly. But like I told you, uh, this has got a raised lip for the polystyrenes to lock on. It doesn't lock on. But with the uh, propolis, it's not going anywhere. The additional honey supers do then drop right over. The lips drop right over. They're not going to go anywhere. They just kind of lock right onto the wooden box just like they would the lower uh, polystyrene boxes. Uh, it just gives you a flexibility uh, that if you run out of certain pieces of equipment, you're not stuck. Because, you again, standard uh, Langstroth parts do work for the most part. The Paradise Honey Bee Box does have a uh, ventilated bottom board with a pull-out insert that you can pull out, scrape off. Uh, you can do your mic checks. You can open it part of the way or completely remove it during the summer when it does get real hot. But again, it gives you some flexibility. Uh, I leave them in during the winter and spring. And during July, early August, I might pull it out a quarter of the way, half of the way at the most. Um, I don't really seem to need that. Like I mentioned earlier, these boxes don't beard like the wood boxes do, so I don't really think it's all that necessary. They have a pretty generous front entry on them, uh, a lot bigger than most boxes, and I think they can maintain their environment just through that big entry uh, without having any additional ventilation through the bottom board. So what do you think, folks? Think this is something that you might be interested in since they will outlast wooden wear by a significant amount they're lighter weight um, yeah I think it's a pretty good idea adds a little bit of insulation to your hive uh, like I said earlier over winter they used less honey I think they build up a little bit quicker in the spring so a lot of good benefits they don't beard in the summertime like the wooden wear does they are fully compatible with the wooden wear as you can see, you know, it just, everything works really good. So, yeah, I like them. Uh, I'm going to add a couple more. Uh, make sure if you do use them, you add at least two, if not three coats of a good exterior grade latex paint. That will keep the sun from breaking them down. Uh, keep them up off the ground so the animals can't chew into them. Mice can chew right through polystyrene. By keeping them up like this, I haven't had any problem. Same with raccoons, skunks, no problem whatsoever. I keep them 18, 20 inches minimum off the ground. Makes it a lot easier working the hives too. I don't like crawling around on the ground or bending over working on my hives. I keep them all elevated. Just makes it real easy on your back. So keep that in mind too. But uh, yeah, I like them. I'm gonna add a couple more. If you got any questions, post them below in the comments and I'll follow up. If you've tried these and whether you like them or don't like them, let me know. Uh, maybe it's something I haven't run into or I haven't really thought about yet. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, click the notification bell if you subscribe so you get notifications when I post a new video. I got some more coming. Uh, weather's starting to straighten up. The rains are really starting to let up. We've had a lot of rain this spring again, so it's kind of limited my videos. But I got a lot more I'm going to follow up with. Really appreciate you following along. I'll see you next time.